Welcome back, everybody. Joined by senior men's volleyball player and team captain David Evans. A couple days before a big weekend uh, for the Ducks. Dave, thanks for the time. And uh, you guys are on a little bit of a roll. Three and two overall, three match win streak. So things are kind of going well for you guys right now. First question is 0 oh and 2. However, it was against the number 10 Division One team in the country. Hawaii and then another D1 in Sacred Heart. What are a couple of things that you guys may have taken from those, you know, setbacks um, that has kind of propelled you guys into this three-match winning streak? Well, to start the year against two good Division One teams really helped us as a team learn what some of the things we have to work on are. Uh, we, we have definitely focused on coming together as a team, uh, passing better, blocking better. Uh, seeing those those big teams, they're, they're both tall and powerful and they make very little mistakes, really helped us to uh, learn what we have to improve on. Um, you know, and obviously you learned something, three straight wins after those two losses. Yes, not against the D1s, but nine straight sets. Um, I think the closest one may have been five points, but the three dominating performances. What are one, two keys that you think have, you know, in terms of on the court, maybe X's and O's, uh, maybe just execution, what are two keys that have helped you guys to get those W's? Uh, two keys, definitely. Uh, pass, passing's been big in those matches, and then uh, setting as well. Uh, Kevin did a great job, and then Kevin went down to one of those matches. John came in, and he did a great job. Uh, and he really stepped up, did well. Uh, all of those wins really were team wins. Almost everyone contributed, whether uh, on the bench, on the court, almost everyone got playing time. Everyone uh, really came together and did well in those matches. Um, and, and you guys are an extremely deep team, yes. um, and you face, and you actually you're heading into your first kind of real busy weekend. Three matches, uh, LaSalle Friday, uh, number eight Riviere on Saturday, and then number one Juniata also on Saturday. So real busy weekend and obviously some really good competition. Um, what are you looking for to get from the weekend? Is it, is it one at a time? Is it three wins? Um, what are your goals heading into Friday and Saturday? Going into Friday and Saturday, uh, as a team, we're obviously looking into each match one at a time. We don't want to overlook any one match. Uh, everyone really uh, on the outside world looks at it and sees number one Juniata versus number two Stevens, but we really have to go one match at a time. LaSalle's coming in 3-0. and Riviere is at the top of their conference, as they very typically are every year. And then Juniata as well, they're uh, a powerhouse right now. Uh, they're very tall, they're going to bring uh, a very big lineup at us, and every year they give us a good match. So, um, Personally, and to kind of switch personally, you were, you know, you took last year off, a lot of working out, improving your body, um, you know, so you could be an even, an even better performer, right. um, concentrate on academics a little bit as well. Um, personally, where do you feel you're at? Are you really sharp? Do you feel great physically? Is there still a lot of work to do? Where yeah. are you at? Uh, physically, I, I feel better. I, I did a lot of rehab. Um, I used to have some knee issues. They're, for the most part, gone. Um, Ryan Seifert and I both took last year off, and the weight room really helped us. But it's been a blessing to come back to such a deep team. Uh, playing with all these guys has just been a privilege. Um, one, real one kind of follow-up to that. Um, is the deep, the, the extreme deepness of the team, I'm not even sure if that's a word, <laughs> but is that depth, is that something that you think is motivating guys, or is it just, is it making, you know, guys when they do step on the court really seize that opportunity? Yeah. Um, how's that depth working for you? Uh, it's been a little bit of both. Well, first of all, in practice, um, the practices when they're just as hard, if not harder than the games, that's huge because everyone is fighting to show that they deserve to be on the court. And then when you get on the court, um, as you've seen these last few matches, everyone has been playing, so when you get on the court, it's your chance to really uh, show that you belong out there and you deserve it. So everyone really, no matter who's on the court, everyone's been participating very well uh, in practice, on the bench, on the court. Everyone's been uh, very key in these wins. Well, I, I couldn't agree more. I mean, you guys are making your, your uh, new assistant coach, Cody, and, yeah. and, and head coach, Patrick Dorohoski decisions tough on them. Yeah. Um, thanks for the time. Absolutely. Best of luck this weekend. Match Friday against LaSalle and then number eight Riviere and then uh, number one Juniata also on the schedule. Those games will be at Kane. Uh, good luck and again thanks Dave. Thank you so much.